God. Good afternoon and hello again from PA Motorsports. Today, we have another special vehicle. As you notice, we keep getting these special vehicles in. All the more attention that you guys should be paying to. This is a very special car. This is a 1980 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am Indianapolis Pace car. Where are you going to find this? This is an original, original, what they call survivor. It's an original car, everybody. This car has only got 10,000 original miles on it. Let's take a little look around this car. Does anybody know what this is called? For all you car fans out there, this is called a Screaming Eagle. Now, you'll also notice that in these cars, most of the time, obviously the most popular car of this version is the 1977 Bandit Trans Am. Driven by the one and only late Burt Reynolds himself, the Bandit. And obviously it was black with the gold Screaming Eagle. Being that this is a pace car, the colors are a little bit different. It's white with gray, and it's got the gray, white, and red Screaming Eagle. Let's take a walk along the side of this car. As you can see, looks just like the Bandit Trans Am that everybody's seen, just a little bit different as far as colors and as far as a little bit of different options in the car. So, I want you to take a look at the radial tires on this car. The BF Goodrich TAs, which was actually a thicker racing type tire for the vehicle in those days. You notice caps on the car? Take a look along the streamline of the car right here with the air dams. I also want you to notice the decals on the door. The decals on the door, official pace car, turbo trans am. 64th annual Indianapolis 500. Now what a pace car basically does for all of you race fans out there, the pace car is the car that goes out in front before the race starts, does a couple of laps, and then the cars take off. And that's what a pace car really is. Now what you'll notice also about this car is there's only 5,700 cars made like this. 5,700 were made in 1980, and this is obviously one of them with 10,000 miles on it. So let's take a little walk around. I want you to look at the door handles on the car. Notice what it says, four-wheel disc. That's the brakes, everybody. In 1980, four-wheel disc brakes. Now they're a big thing. Back in 1980, it was definitely a big thing. You'll notice the back window. What these are called are louvers. And louvers are basically just something plastic to cover up the back to give it more of an aesthetic look more than anything else. Now, if you look at the trunk on this car, in 1980, believe it or not, this was called a spoiler. Not like the spoiler is of today, but it was a spoiler to make the car a little bit more aerodynamic in its day. You'll also notice the decals again. Turbo Trans Am, which was a rare car. Being a turbo, in its day, this car had 210 horsepower, turbocharged. So could you imagine how fast this car must have been for 1980? Let's take a walk down this side of the car. Let's open up the door of the car, everybody. Notice the interior of the vehicle. Now I'm gonna get it into it momentarily, sit in it and start it up and show you what the car really has and doesn't have as opposed to today's cars. Let me get inside. So this is the dashboard of the car. Pretty simple, correct? Now, what you'll notice for 1980, the car actually has a clock right here. You'll notice your RPMs, top speed. Now, let's take a look at the top speed on the car. What does it say? 80 miles an hour. Now, you know this car obviously did well over 80 miles an hour, but for its day and that time, all the cars had to have something that said 80 to 85 miles an hour on the speedometer, and that was it. There was no 150, 160 like today's times. You have air conditioning system over here. It looks pretty advanced, right? I'm just kidding. It's a move back and forth. Everything is labeled over here. Cold, hot. Your cigarette lighter. Now, cigarette lighters, you don't even find them in cars today, but here we do have one. Right over here. 
Your gas gauge is right here, and what's funny about this, it says unleaded fuel only. Back in those days, they actually had leaded fuel, which is actually not even in existence today. You have your radio over here. And you know what's different about this? This actually has a tape deck in it. It's so right over here, you put the tape in. As you can see where my finger is going. Now this car is an automatic transmission car. So you have your gear shifter right over here, park reverse, neutral drive. These buttons over here are your power windows for both sides. Now I want you to notice also something about this car. As we look up, you'll notice the car has T-tops in it. T-tops were very popular in the 80s. It's not quite a convertible, but both of these come off and it's like driving a convertible. So take a look at that. <laughs> take a look at the steering wheel on this car. You'll notice something that wasn't very popular in those days, but this had it. It's a tilt steering column. Not a lot of cars had that in 1980. It was just regular steering column, get in. This one's actually tilt. So the steering wheel tilts. I'm going to start the car up. Okay, because I want you to take a look at this. As you turn it on, you'll notice it says normal, medium, high, and this is the turbo charge for the car, because the car is turbo. When was the last time you saw that on the hood of a car? Probably never, unless you had a car like this in 1980. I'm going to start the vehicle up. As you can hear it, I'm going to show you the engine of the car as well. Now, let's go outside the car. Again, this car has 10,000 original miles. It is a 1980 Firebird Trans Am pace car. If you're interested, please subscribe to our channel at PA Motorsports or give us a call at 267-522-8869. Again, 267-522-8869. I hope you like the car. Please subscribe to our channel. There will be more cars to come. Thank you very much and have a good day.